Hello Darts Nuts and welcome to Darts Review channel. In this video I'm going to be checking out the MIB grip points. Been quite a lot of talk about these on social media and quite a few pro players have used them. And basically they're meant to be a very grippy point but one that doesn't ruin your board so that remains to be seen. Um, I've got all three versions. I've got the originals, the ice and the paragon and I bought these from Darts GB. I actually ordered them on a Tuesday afternoon and they came on a Wednesday morning so I think that's possibly the fastest I've ever had anything delivered. Um, I'll put the link to Mib Grib and Darts GB in the description so let's check them out. So I got the 32mm from Darts GB, you can also get them in 36 and 41mm. The originals and ice retail for 9 95 and the Paragon retail for 12 95 If you want different lengths you can contact Mib Grip and I think they do quite a lot of different lengths so I'll put the links in the description. This is the info provided by Mib Grip and each point has got its own rating so if you want to read that just pause the video. So what I'll do is um, I'll show you a close up of each point and you can have a good look at it and then I'll take some measurements of each just to make sure that they're all as they should be whatever the size says and I'll measure the thickness as well because obviously when you're repointing them in darts they're not always uh, the same size hole and sometimes you may find the points might be too loose or too tight and you have to either add a little bit of glue or lock tight if it's loose or file them down if it's tight. These are the originals so as you can see it's very sharp and let's get back into focus for you. It's kind of like a, an ultra scuffed version of when you, you scuff your silver points and you should be able to see it's got that kind of texture which is caused by that ultra scuffing that's as, um, <coughs> as much as I can describe it as and these are the ice again I'll just get it back into focus now this kind of reminds me of that kind of wire that you get where it's kind of tightly woven like steel wire. I actually like the look of this one the best. It seems a more uniform grip pattern. But there you go. And this is the Paragon and the front part of this kind of looks similar to what the originals look like but the uh, the rest of the point you kind of like a gnarly version of a point that's been kind of filed in different weird directions but obviously it gives a little bit more grip for the finger as you can see my giant finger there <laughs> but um, the fact is all that kind of modification on the point makes it a little bit thinner and kind of worries me a little bit that it may weaken the point but there you go so these are the measurements that I took of length and thickness and the originals and the ice seem to be the most consistent the Paragon as I was expecting was a little bit thinner so now I'm just going to give them a quick weigh. So these are the originals. So that's 0.85. Uh, not 0.78. I don't expect them to be 100% perfect, like, but as long as they're pretty close. So that's 0.82. So these are the ice. 0.81. Not 0.82, so them two pretty close. And not 0.81, so. And these are the Paragon. So that's 
So we've got 0 0.71. 0.73 and 0.72 so pretty close for them all right so what i've done now is i've put each of the points in two sets of darts uh, these are 26 gram and these are 12 gram but with these two sets i'm just going to do a kind of a drop test on the board with on the floor just to see how far they penetrate um, I'm putting it on the Mission Samurai 2 board which is quite a firm board and I'm going to do the 12 gram darts first I'm using the same stems and flights and I'll use the uh, same ones for the 26 gram um, I'll record the measurements and put them up on the screen after so here we go So that's the 12 gram. All right, so same test again, but this time with the 26 gram originals first. Ice. Oop. And Paragon. I think I'll do that one again because it, it caught my finger on the way down. That's better. Right, same test again, but this time thrown at the board and I'm using the 12 gram first. These are the originals, Ice and Paragon. This time 26 grams. So there's the original, Ice and Paragon. So these are the results of that. Um, I am a little bit surprised that the drop test makes the point that de uh, penetrate deeper than throwing it. I thought throwing it would have been making it hit the board harder, but could also be because of the angle. When I'm dropping it, it's more vertical, and when I'm throwing it, my darts tend to land at an angle. But overall, it looks like the originals are the ones that penetrate the deepest in most accounts and then the Paragon and then the Ice, but there you go, make of it what you will. I've gone back to the 12 gram darts, so what I'm going to do now is just have some throws with me normal kind of a throw. I'm not aiming for anything in particular, I'm just trying to concentrate on throwing it the same each time. And just to get an idea of how the points feel, so that's the original and I'm not trying to yank it out I'm just kind of trying to gauge how much it sticks oh sorry that was the uh, Paragon and this is the original now I think them two now them two kind of similar the ice not as grippy into the board but I think it does say that on the uh, the website so again that's the original ice paragon so do me right hand this time so i'm, I'm hold, holding it lightly just to get an idea of what it feels like and it, it has got a really nice grip on the board a nice tight grip and remember these are the 12 gram darts so a fair bit of effort to, to pull it out i'm not like really yanking it out and that's the ice so the ice definitely comes out easier so the paragon and the originals seem to be very similar in the grippiness um so what i'm going to try and do now is throw it as light as possible just to see if it hits now how am i going to do this I need to do it so it hits the pod, but not as in, like my normal throw. It's hard to throw lighter when you get used to throwing a certain way though. <laughs> but Paragon, original. Oh. Every time the originals seem to be the, the one that sticks in the most though. One more go. Uh, let's get them lined up right again. So, original. 
trying to throw it as light as I can. Almost flown it in. So again, original. Didn't stick in as much that time, so it must have been an even lighter throw. Ice came out very easy. Paragon, a little bit tighter. So I think it's safe to say that if you've got a light throw and you're using light darts, they are going to stick in. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my normal darts on and I'm going to repoint all three barrels with each set. Right, so I'm using my 23 gram darts with the original uh, mid points on first and I'm going to try and hit the 20 segment for 200 hits. So I'm only going to show you the darts that hit the segment and then we'll see what it looks like afterwards. But this is before I start. So there you go, let's get a good look at it. I will take a picture of it as well. So here we go. Right, so that's me finished. If my maths is right, I've hit the 20 segment 200 times. I think I did a few extra just in case. Um, looking at it, obviously you can see holes where I've hit the uh, segment, but there's no fibers pulling out from what I can tell. Maybe just a tiny little bit there, but nothing major. Certainly not the kind of damage that Simon Whitlock does. So, quite impressed with that. Uh, I know my thumb's bloody sore pulling the darts out. And they don't seem to have worn at all. The points are still sticking in just as much at the end as they did at the start. Right, so I'm going to do the ice now. I've moved it to a different segment. So there you go. Can have a look at it. And I'm using the same darts again, but now with the ice points. So that's after 200 hits on the 20 segments with the ice points and there's no damage really. Obviously you can see some holes but that's just normal. So there you go. Right so I've rotated it to the next segment again. That's about the best one I can find on the board now. So there you go. Let's have a look at it. Now I'm going to try the Paragons. Right, so that's after 200 hits with the Paragons. It's hard to be sure if it's got any more damage than the originals, maybe slightly more, but again, it's not the kind of damage that Whitlock does. So the board is in pretty good nick still. So let's check the results. So originals first, I don't think that's really too bad, certainly not ruined the segment. Ice is probably the best out of them all, but then I think it's the one that's closest to a normal kind of a point. But I think the Paragon is probably slightly worse because of the shape of the holes it leaves. So there you go, that's the mid grip points. I think they do live up to the reputation of being very grippy without actually ruining the board. Obviously they leave holes in the board like you've seen, but certainly not causing the kind of damage that you see from like the Whitlock points. Out of the three, different points that I've tried. I think personally for me, the ice is probably more than grippy enough. 
I did find that when I was pulling the darts out with the originals and the Paragon on, my fingers were getting quite sore because they were sticking in the boards so hard. Um, but if you need the grippiest, then I would go for the originals. Now, the Paragon next up on the grippy list, but I'm not too sure about them points. Um, because of the way they're shaped, they were a little bit difficult to repoint into the darts. I think they were a little bit thinner than the other points, so that made it a little bit harder. And um, because of the way the shape as well, I'm not sure how strong they're going to be. It looks like as if quite a lot of the 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 point itself has been chipped away kind of thing. So that is my reservation with the Paragons. The, the originals and the ice, I'd definitely say they're worth a go. But again, it's whether you need such a grippy point. For years, I've always said I'm more than happy with a standard black coated point, but if you've got a really light throw or you're using very light darts, or if you're playing competitively and you're just worried about losing points from darts that are falling out the board, then it's definitely something you might want to consider. Um, so the only other last reservation is the price. They're not a cheap point, but again, if you're playing competitively, you know that could be the difference between winning and losing. So it's probably money well spent in that way. So I guess it's how you decide whether it's something you need. But I've just tried to test them to see whether they live up to the hype, and I think they do. I've tested it as much as I can, that section where I was edited the 200 throws. That was so tedious, it took me a long time to edit that. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that again. But the other thing I've noticed as well, from the very first throw to my very last throw, they still seem to be gripping the board just as much as they did from the start. Some points I've noticed sometimes they seem to wear, and these, these haven't so far. But I'm gonna continue using the originals and just to see how it wears on the board and how the point wears. So I'm not sure if I'll do an, a separate video on that, but uh, maybe in a few weeks time, I might post a, a picture up on Twitter or something just to let you know. So basically that's it. I hope you've enjoyed watching the video and I'll see you on the next one. Happy darting.